In this film, we've been, I've been playing Anthony, or being Anthony, and really just uh, experiencing a life, a day in his life. So we start off in his flat, and uh, his mum's there, and um, I'm relating to his mum, and the voices are there. Obviously, the mum can't see them, but I can hear them and see them. I go out to sign on in the benefits office where we are now, and I go back to the flat. And it's all fraught with all sorts of issues. And Anthony's really just been helping me through it. And I've just been trying to understand what he goes through and um, just trying to relate to that, really. I mean, Anthony's interjections have been important throughout the process. It's a sort of way of you checking on what you should be feeling whether what you're feeling is what he felt. Say a little bit about how his direction to you changed your experience. Well, I haven't anticipated totally is what the film set allowed us, or allowed me to do. Because um, we were all playing roles, parts. It's that idea of acting, checking in with the director, Anthony, and saying, actually, how do I do this? or how do I deliver this, or what should I be feeling now, which is a very natural part of the film set. So all that structure and that mechanism felt like um, a very natural thing to do. And that seemed to set up uh, the conversation that I needed to start to feel the stuff that I could start to relate to Anthony with. But if you're making a drama that's a wall that's never broken, you mm. know, that you don't see an actor turning around and checking something with a director. But it seemed completely natural in what we shot. I mean, actually, it just felt like part of the confusion. It felt like, OK, me talking to Anthony, me talking to the, the actors, me saying these lines, it was, it was very confusing. Um, but it had a sort of natural flow that I got into. I could be in two worlds at once, maybe three worlds at once. And it was about the negotiation of those worlds that. Um, I thought, okay, that's, that's what the challenge is. I mean, in that last scene, when you come back from the Benedict's office, the mother, her voice is like one of the other voices, but it's also the voice of the system to some extent, talking about the medication, the voice of psychiatry. How did that make you feel in the last scene as opposed to the first scene? Well, it all, it all just built up, actually. It was quite a gradual build up. And I, to start with, I was just trying to relate to my mum, the actor, as my mum, and all the problems that come up with your mum coming round to your flat and looking after you and when you're 54, um, ex you know, running your life and choosing your shirt for you, and trying to sort of dealing with um, why would that, why would you let that happen, all of that stuff and being quite powerless in that situation and, and feeling that pressure and relating to that pressure. And then that moving into this uh, sort of bureaucratic area where that sense of powerlessness was totally replicated. And I, I didn't really know what was going on. People were telling me that things were happening. I didn't know why or what was going on. I felt like I just had to go along with things because to deal with everything was impossible. I, it's like there was a level of dealing with the chaos, anything more than that was impossible. So I just had to go along with what was in the real world, really. I mean, watching it, it appeared that you were going through some kind of regression when you were curled up on the sofa as if wanting to be protected from systems you didn't understand. You were sort of overwhelmed. I mean, say, say a little bit about what you felt when you were on the sofa. Well, at that point, I'd lost my mum. I mean, I, the, the realisation that the, my mum wasn't my mum, she was someone else imposing as my mum, or being an imposter, that was, um, that was an enormous uh, emotional shift. For me, that was, uh, it was betrayal, and then, that, then it went into grief as if I'd lost her. I mean, I remember saying to Anthony, it's like she's died, but it, it wasn't that, it's just that she'd been taken away from me. Um, so uh, abandonment, actually, OK, who, 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 who do I hold on to now? She's, she's my last link on the world. Who do I, what do I hold on to now? And the, the voices around me weren't helping. So I was really resenting them. So was, and then that started to shift into anger. 
And Anthony was saying, OK, it's more anger, actually. So that, I mean, I did struggle with that, getting into anger so quickly. But yeah, it, it, it did, did come. Well, I think the emotion of anger <clears throat> is easier to, to express than grief. Mm. Do you feel this film is what you thought it would be to begin with when you got to know Anthony? For the first conversations we had, it was, it was about finding metaphors. And actually, some of them were quite surreal. It was going to be a quite a strange film to start with. And then it got actually very conventional, like a conventional drama. And I think we found a sort of in-between place where we can explore these ideas using the conventional drama as a vehicle. It's not really a conventional drama at all. That's just a way of talking about this stuff and bringing, bringing the feelings to a point where they can be recognised by me particularly and then attempted to relate to Anthony. So it's, it, it allows the language to, to start being found. Whether we, we really find a way of explaining it or not, I don't. But I feel like there's a connection between myself and Anthony that just on a very pragmatic level, I'm, I'm understanding what's happening. Marcus, this is the fourth film, and I think it's the one in which you've become distressed in a certain way that uh, I wasn't expecting. The environmental factors were enormous, and that's something also that this film brought to it, which was I sort of knew about but hadn't really felt. So there's this, I always imagine psychosis is, is, is going on in the head and that's, that's where it originates. But the, the, the triggering, it, triggering stuff around you, that feels like a, a just enormous influence. Huge. Huge influence. So there's already stuff going on in my head, but then this mum comes in. She might be doing stuff that people recognise, actually, that's, that's fairly ordinary in a relationship. But for me, with all this stuff going on as well, as this sort of dependency relationship, that was, uh, that was totally overwhelming, and I could see how very simple things could, could push me mm. o over into really feeling totally overwhelmed and, and debilitated by that. And then coming here, I mean, the amount of bureaucracy and the language and the, the system. And, like, Anthony's very high-functioning. So it seems like he knows the system inside out. But I can imagine me, and I, I remember when I signed on, it was a fucking nightmare. But both the environment <clears throat> infantilizing and keep you... That depersonalization is, is, was just awful. And, and, the, and the power and, and me feeling like um, I, had, I literally had no agency anywhere. I mean, where actually am I, me? With whom can I be me? With whom can I trust? It was really interesting. Anthony said, well, it's not about trust, this relationship. So how do I decide when it's about trust and when it isn't? And I don't know what you base the relationship on. <laughs> So yeah, that was, um, it's, it's almost like everything you encounter, or everything I was encountering, I had to assess right from the beginning. And had, like what we take for granted in the streets and here and home, everything has to be assessed f for me in terms of, um, is it malevolent? Is it, is it benevolent? Is it helping me? Is it against me? Absolutely everything has to be assessed from the beginning. Mm. It's utterly exhausting. I think you understanding that is going to help the viewer understand something that they didn't understand before about the situation that people find themselves in with the, the system as it is. Well, I think that the chaos is overwhelming. All this stuff going on. I don't quite know how Anthony manages that. But the other thing is the impact on the people around him. I, I was thinking so much for, from Anthony's position, but as soon as I started relating to the mum and un not understanding her at all, what's, how does she deal with that? And I started to really empathise with her. And I don't know if that was at all possible for Anthony. How do people around people who are suffering in that way deal, deal with that situation? I, I couldn't trust anything. That was a big thing that I, I discovered. There was, nothing, there was no, no ground under my feet. Everything had been ripped up. What, what are my tools for relating to anything anymore, in, in, including who am I? Mm. But what is it like for people who are trying to relate to me and help me um, if I'm changing and, and, and don't understand what they're saying or think they're for someone else or talking to other people? That that's uncertainty must be really debilitating. 
it's ironic that probably the script has been worked on most of all the films, but the script was in the end secondary to what happened in the shoot. Yeah, I think this is the only one with a script, really. The script became just a guidance, really, for everyone's where to stand, what to do, where to start. It's a starting point. All the scary stuff, for me particularly, was <laughs> where we go with all this, and me being in it, in it enough to be able to ask Anthony the questions that are relevant mm -hmm. and important, and for me to feel enough to be able to do that. And that's what I was most scared about with actors, because we're just acting a scene. I'm not going to be able to... Am I really feeling this stuff, or am I acting this stuff? I didn't want to act, actually. I wanted to be able to feel stuff so that um, I had stuff to, to talk to Anthony about and, and I wanted to understand. Yeah, so that, that has been um, scary. <laughs> but good, I think I've, I feel like I've, I've been to some places. Thank you.